And welcome back to the math torture. I mean fun, my math party people. Anderson here, your math coach. Let's go ahead and take care of some business here. So we're going to be getting into systems of equations now. All right. So at first, we're going to be looking at the different types of solving or solutions to systems. You have substitution, you have elimination, and you have graphing. Graphing probably won't be here because for your test, you're going to be doing it by hand. So we're going to be focusing on substitution and elimination. So for each of those, remember here, for each of those, for substitution and elimination, you're going to have two parts, the simple ones and the medium kind of hard ones. And for the simple ones, there's two ways I'm going to show you. And then for the medium, same deal. So get ready. We're going to crush this together. Let's start here with systems of equations with substitution, part one and part two. After that, move forward and go into the worksheet if you're in the course or program. And then after that, you'll see the speed drills. That way you can absolutely dominate this moving forward. Again, it's all about building your confidence and building your speed. So that way you can react to pressure situations with that calm, cool and collected vibe. So let's go ahead and start off here. Systems of equations. We're going to solve each of these with substitution. And let me show you what substitution really is all about. Let me go ahead and go here and you'll see in the worksheet that the hint says set the equations equal to each other. So you'll see that right there, set them equal to each other. So here, let me go ahead and show you how to get this job done. Look at this, my party people. We see that we have y equals all of this and we have y equals all of that. Let me go ahead and show you what is about to happen and why this makes sense. Let's, for example, say that, hey, five equals, let's go ahead and say five equals two plus three. Let's also say that five equals one plus four. Both of those are true, right? Five is two plus three. Let's go and zoom in over here. Five is two plus three and five is one plus four, right? That's true. Now, why did I do that? Well, the thing is, if five is the same thing as two plus three and five is the same thing as one plus four, then isn't it true, my party people, isn't it true that two plus three and one plus four are equal to each other? Is that going to be true? Yes. The answer is yes. That is going to be true, right? We know that's true. Two plus three is five and one plus four is five. We know that's going to be true. So why am I saying that? It's because of this, my party people. If you take a look at these equations over here, this system, remember, a system is basically two equations or more using the same variables. So if you look over here, y equals negative 6x minus 13 and y equals 6x plus 23. Notice that both of these are equal to y. They're both equal to y. So then isn't it true that just like earlier, if two plus three equals five and one plus four equals five, that the two parts of those equations are equal to each other. If y is this and y is that, then both of these equations are the same. So what I'm going to say is this, everybody. I'm going to say that this equals that in the red. So what I'm able to write here, my party people, is negative 6x minus 13 is equal to 6x plus 23. I'm able to say that. I substituted. That's what substitution is. If you're saying that y is equal to that and you see y in the other equation, you can plug it in. You can substitute it in there. Because what does that do for us, my party people? What this does for us is look at this equation now. I have just x. And we've done solving equations. At this point, you should have been going through solving equations. And you know that if you have only one variable, you can solve it. If I have y equals x and all that stuff, I can't solve that because I got two variables. So this is me warming you up to this idea here because you need to know the, the idea and the reasons why things happen. That way you can truly understand the topic. So hey, hey, before we get to crushing this problem, just wanted to remind you about my ASVAB All Access program. So if you have test anxiety, if you blank out on word problems, if you're frustrated and can't keep a solid study schedule, then this program is there to support you. Long story short, you're going to be able to text me whenever you need help. You get all of the classes and the recordings so you can work around your schedule whenever you need to. On top of that, you're going to get access to over 2,000 practice problems that let you learn from every mistake by watching video solutions to those math questions. Not like a textbook where you have to figure it out on your own. On top of that, 
There are way more features like practice tests, study guides, flashcard sets, all that good stuff. So go ahead, either text me or check out the link either somewhere here in this video or in the description. That way you can keep raising your score and get the job you want because that's what you're here for at the end of the day. Again, I'm Coach Anderson. Check out the All Access program and sign up and then keep going watching this video so you can keep crushing it. I'll see you there. So here, we have negative 6x minus 13 equals 6x plus 23. I can solve this for x and then use that x to find out whatever y is. Here we go. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and, well, I can add 6 to both sides. 6x, that is. The reason I'm adding 6x to both sides is because I want to cancel that out on the left. And that's going to give me a positive 12x on the right. I'm going to bring everything else down. So we have negative 13, that plus 23. And again, all I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for x here. So next up, I'm going to subtract 23 on both sides. If I do that, it cancels on the right side, giving me negative 13 minus 23, which is going to be negative 36. So negative 36 equals 12x. Okay, great. Now from here, what I'll do is I'll divide both sides by 12, and that's gonna give me, right over here, x equals negative three. So are we done here? Well, not quite. Now that we've solved this for x, we're gonna to have to go ahead and solve for y. Remember that the answer here, in this specific sense, if you look over here at the choices, notice how we have coordinates. Remember that the coordinates are listed as X and Y in order, alphabetical order. So the answer is gonna be like this, X, Y. We just found out that X equals negative three. So over here we have negative three, but we don't know what Y is. We just don't know what the Y is. So how do we find out what Y is? Well, if you look at your answer choices, look, we have C having negative three and B having negative three, right? So we can say that A is not the answer and D is not the answer because again, we don't have negative three for the X. So how are we gonna figure out which one's the answer is C or, C or uh, B? Well, we're gonna use that we know that X equals negative three and plug it back in. Take whichever equation you want. You can take this one or you can take this one. Either way is fine. Because remember, with a system, both variables are the same. So. Let's go ahead and use that first one. I'll write y equals, or I'll use the second one. y equals 6x plus 23. I'll use the second one because we're not using a negative. It makes things a little easier. And so I'll plug in my value, x equals negative 3, right over here. I'll plug it back in. I'll substitute it back in. 6 times negative 3 plus 23. So once I solve this, I see that we'll have 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. And then from there, negative 18 plus 23, or 23 minus 18, that's gonna give us a positive five. So y equals positive five. And so when we check that out, that's gonna make our answer, again earlier, negative three, positive five, which is answer choice C. So again, this is part one here to substitution where we're gonna be looking at, again, how we can set two equations equal to each other if we, they're both already set to y. Now check this out over here, number two. I wanna go ahead and show you again how to get this done and how to really get into the idea of solving a system. So what do you notice again? We notice that y equals all of this and over here, y also equals all of this. So what can we say, everybody? Well, we can set the two, uh, the, those x values equal to each other. Because if y equals that and y also equals this, then that means that 5x minus 4 has to be the same as x. It has to be the same. And so here's how we're going to handle this, everybody. We're going to go ahead, use this now. This is, this is definitely solvable now. Let's use that to solve for x. And then from there, if we need to, we'll plug back in and find out what y is. So here, let's go ahead and solve. First things first, I'll go ahead and move that 4 over. So we have ourselves 5x, this cancels out, equals x plus 4. And then from here, I'll go ahead and move the x over to get those x's together. And notice how this is solvable now. We can go ahead, cancel there, get 4x equals 4. And what I'll do now is divide both sides by 4. 
So when dividing both sides by four, cancels out here and we get X equals one. So remember, the answer is gonna be listed as X comma Y. That's how a coordinate is listed. And so X is gonna to equal to one, but I don't know what Y is yet. If I look at my answer choices, that can only be answers B, or excuse me, C and D, because you notice that there's a one for the X part. So we have to figure out whether the Y is negative one or positive one. That's what we have to figure out now. And then what we can do is we can plug in the X back into either equation to figure that out. So A can't be the answer, B can't be the answer. Let's figure out if it's C or D. Let's plug back in. And again, you can pick either one. You can pick either one. And so if you look at that first equation, that one's pretty easy to use. Y equals X, not really much work to do. So I'll go ahead and plug it in, Y equals, and then I'll plug in one. Oh, look at that, no more work to be done. Y equals one. And so our answer is gonna be X is one, Y is one, and that is answer choice D. So that one was pretty easy because Y is X. So we knew that, we plugged in and we're good. Allow me to go through another example with you. Let's check out number three. Again, this, this video here is where you have the Y's already by themselves, so you can plug the Y into the other one. In this next video coming up, before you work on the worksheet and before you work on the speed drills, you'll see that there's gonna be a slight difference in how it looks. So again, pay attention here because I'm showing you how to solve these. Hey, hey, learn more about how you can get all of my classes, all of my practice problems with video solutions, and all of my study guides, practice tests, flashcard sets. Oh, and by the way, the ability to text me whenever you need help. Go ahead and learn about my ASVAB All Access program. Click the link in the description here, or shoot me a text at 567-698-8867 to learn more about it. Again, I'm Coach Anderson. Let's learn more, and let's taste the ASVAB. So here we go, up next, number three. We have y equals negative eight x minus 22, and we also have y equals x plus five. Notice how it says y equals this and y equals that. And remember, those y's are the same. So that means that these two components have to be the same. And so what I'll do is I'll set it up that way. I'll set it up as negative eight X minus 22 equals X plus five. So let's go ahead and pay attention here. Let's solve this. We'll find out what X is. And if you look at your answer choices, you have a positive seven, negative seven, negative three, seven for X. So we're gonna get one of those four. So here we go. I'll add eight X to both sides to begin. And again, we should know how to solve equations at this point. This is a continuation of solving equations and inequalities. So make sure to go back to solving equations if you don't know how to do this right now. It'll give you a great boost. So here we go. This is gonna cancel on the left. We have negative 22 equals nine X plus five. And from here, what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna go ahead and subtract the five on both sides. So right over here, minus five, minus five, and that's gonna give me cancellation on the right. Negative 22 minus five is negative 27 equals nine X. So my last step to solve this will be divide both sides by nine. And once I do that, cancels out on the right side, giving me X equals negative three. So with that, we have X equals negative three. And so we see that the only answer choice that has X being negative three that's C. We actually don't need to do any more work in this problem. We don't need to. Because again, that's the only option. Remember, where we list it as X comma Y, the X is negative three, so there's no more work to be done. But let's assume that we did want to know how to get to the Y. Remember, what we would do is we would plug this back in. Plug back in to get to the Y. Plug back in if you wanted to solve for Y. So if you wanna solve for Y, again, pick either one of these. I'll pick the second one because it looks a little easier to, he to handle. And so I'll plug it in. Y equals, I'll plug in the negative three for the X plus five. And so with that said, what's negative three plus five? That's the same thing as five minus three, and that'll be Y equals two. Booyah, nice and easy. And that's how we get again, option C. So let's keep it going here, let's go to number four. Let's keep this party going, everybody. So we have number four over here. We have y equals negative five x minus nine, and we have y equals two x plus five. So to get this done, 
I'm going to go ahead and again notice that we have y equals that and y also equals that. So I can set the pieces equal to each other. I can set those equal to each other and have a good day. So I'll make it 2x plus 5 equals negative 5x minus 9. So to get this done, solve it like a regular equation. We have variables on both sides. So the idea here is move those variables to the same side, the regular numbers on the other, and solve from there. So here, I'll go ahead and add 5x to both sides. So that's going to cancel the negative 5x on the right side, giving me 7x plus 5 equals negative 9. And then from there, my party people, I'll subtract 5, or 5 from both sides right here. And that's going to cancel out there. And that's going to give me 7x equals negative 14. From here, to get the x by itself, I'll divide by 7 on both sides. And that's going to cancel out right here, leaving me with x equals negative 2. Booyah. So we have x equals negative 2. So we know that our answer is going to look like this. Negative 2 comma whatever y is. Again, that's where the y belongs. So do we need to know what y is to know what the correct answer is in this problem? Well, here the answer choices are coordinates, x and then y. And we know that the only one that has a negative 2 is right here. That's the only one that has a negative 2. But remember, if you wanted to solve for y, all you have to do is plug the x back into either equation. Either one will work, and you'll solve for the y. So in this case, I'll just go ahead and take uh, the second one here. I'll take this one, and I'll plug the y or the x back into it. So y equals 2x plus 5. And so we can rewrite that as y equals 2 times the x, which was, again, negative 2 plus 5. 2 times negative 2, that's going to give me negative 4. And negative 4 plus 5, that's going to equal positive 1. And so my answer right here, let me mark that in red, would be negative 2, positive 1. And that's why B is the correct answer. So we can prove that through and through. So again, remember, with systems of equations, what I've just gone through here, my part of you before you, is that when you have a variable by itself, like the y by itself, you can go ahead and substitute it into the other equation. So basically all I've done here is I've said, hey, if these y's are the same, then I can take what y equals and replace the other y with it. So the 2x plus 5 here, I replaced it right there with that y. So I can have an equation with one variable so I can actually solve it. If you have two variables with one equation, you can't solve that. So that's what I did, and that's how we made that happen, my party people. And so, with that said, there we are. Um, hopefully you understood each of those four examples in terms of what I did, how we solved, how we plugged back in. And then in the next part, what we're gonna do is where only one of the Ys is by themselves. So get ready to move forward into part two of the basics of systems of equations with substitution. Then you'll get to practice with the worksheet and then work on those speed drills to raise that confidence. So this is going to be a long little uh, bit of lessons here, but I'm confident that once you're done, you're going to be feeling pretty good. I'll see you in the next video, my party people. I got your back.